By now we should know how to add, subtract, and multiply polynomials. In this video I want to look at dividing polynomials using long division. To help with dividing polynomials I want to remind myself what it's like to divide with numbers using long division. And when it comes to this problem 954 divided by 3, I remember using my long division to put 954 inside, and since we're dividing by 3, 3 will go on the outside, so we're trying to find how many times 3 goes into 954. And then we just keep asking ourselves some questions about this 3. What we ask is, how many times does it go into 9? So what do I have to multiply 3 by to turn it into 9? And that would be 3. So I do that. 3 times 3 is 9. And then we subtract. Next, I bring down the 5. And I repeat the whole process. How many times does 3 go into 5? Well, only once. 1 times 3 is 3. And when I subtract, I'm left with 2. Bring down the 4. 3 goes into 24 8 times. 8 times 3 is 24. When we subtract, we're left with 0. There's no remainder. That means that 954 divided by 3 is 300. 18. That's going to be the similar process that we'll use when we're doing long division. When we set up long division with polynomials, we're going to still use our same long division, and it's that numerator, that x squared plus 3x minus 40, that goes inside of the division. Since we're dividing by x minus 5, that's what goes on the outside. We want to see how many times x minus 5 goes into x squared plus 3x minus 40. Instead of worrying about the entire x minus 5, I'm really going to care about just this x. And I ask myself, what do I have to multiply that x by to turn it into x squared? And that's going to be x. So I do that. I go back to the entire x minus 5 and multiply it by x. We'll have x squared minus 5x. And just like when it was with numbers, we have to subtract. Just be careful and make sure that you subtract this entire expression, x squared minus 5x. Because obviously x squared minus x squared is going to be 0. But we're not doing 3x minus 5x. We're doing 3x minus negative 5x, which is the same as adding. So that will make 8x. Next, we bring down the next term, negative 40, and repeat the whole process. How many times does this x go into 8x? Well, we would have to multiply it by 8. So let's do that. Multiply the entire expression, x minus 5, by 8, and we're left with 8x minus 40. When we subtract, 8x minus 8x is 0. Negative 40 minus negative 40 is 0. So we're done. When we divide x squared plus 3x minus 40 by x minus 5, we are left with x plus 8 for a solution. Let's try one more. When we have 6x cubed minus 17x squared plus 6x plus 18 divided by 3x minus 4. First we want to set it up. We want to find out how many times 3x minus 4 goes into 6x cubed minus 17x squared plus 6x plus 18. So again, we're not going to worry about the entire expression. I'm just going to worry about this 3x. What do I have to multiply 3x by to turn it into 6x cubed? Well, 3 has to get multiplied by 2, and x times x squared gives me x cubed. So go back and multiply the entire expression by that 2x squared. We'll get our 6x cubed minus 2x squared times negative 4 is the minus 8x squared. When we subtract, be careful. Make sure that you subtract everything. 6x cubed minus 6x cubed cancels. But negative 17x squared minus negative 8x squared is like adding a positive 8. So we'll end up with 9, negative 9x nine squared. Bring down the 6x and repeat the process. What do I want to multiply 3x by to turn into negative 3x squared? Well, that would be negative 3x. So let's do that. 3x times negative 3x is negative 9x squared. Negative 3x times negative 4 is positive 12x. When we subtract the whole thing, 
the negative 9x x squared cancel, but 6 minus 12 is negative 6x. Bring down the 18 and repeat it again. 3x to turn into negative 6x, we'd have to multiply it by negative 2. And then negative 2 times negative 4 is plus 8. When we subtract the whole thing, the negative 6x is cancel, and 18 minus 8 is 10. This time, we have a remainder. And if you think back to how did you deal with a remainder when you were in elementary school, um, maybe your teacher told you to use R10 uh, to signify a remainder of 10. Or you put a decimal point and added some zeros and continue with the division. You can't really do that here. What we are going to do is the third option, and that was make a fraction out of it. So this remainder is still left as uh, being the numerator of this division with a denominator of 3x minus 4. So make a fraction out of your remainder by putting the remainder in the numerator and what we were dividing by in the denominator. Then all of this is going to be our solution.